It's night and day. Night and day back again. Yes, back in the world of Spider-Man. With our web-slinging, friendly neighborhood friend, yes. right here. Hello. <laughs> As he peeks over the shoulder at you. All right. Oh, so man. we're going to do... Actually, we have some upgrades to get. Yes, we uh, just realized that we have nine skill points here. Which means we have four skill points. Yep. <laughs> as we're fond of pointing out. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go down the list of the defender tree because we haven't actually gotten anything there yet. Yeah, and we saw the perfect dodge looks like it could be good or it could be crap because, you know, use timing and we're button mashy, so yep. maybe not. <laughs> but then a little bit below that is this save your life once a battle thing. Which works out really good for people who suck. So, yeah, yeah, get last so stand here. One last chance to dodge. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it can only be used once per combat encounter, but still, I mean, it's better than nothing for sure. Oh, that's cool. It's called Last Stand. Uh, Same uh, name as a similar ability in Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Uh, Maybe yeah. Kingdom Hearts? There's something like Second Chance and Last Stand. It might not be Last Stand. Whatever. It's a very similar ability. It keeps you alive with one <laughs> wow. HP if something would have killed you. Oh, wow. And there's a crime immediately. Immediately a mugging. Of course. Of course there's a mugging. Okay. Where is that in relation? Wow. It's just right behind me. So there we're going to slowly make our way to the Fisk construction site to try and stop the demons once and for all. But of course, every time yeah. we hear an emergency, we have to do we the actual Spider-Man response. Because... That's a hold up. Oh, that's... Who wants a picture? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, what we're trying to do, as you guys may or may not have uh, inferred from how we've been playing so far, is to just go ahead and play it as responsively as we feel actual Spider-Man would in the situation that he's in. Which means if there's a giant emergency, we're responding to that right away. Mm, right. Yeah. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be tackling all of these things as they come, and then. Like all the crimes or whatever, but you know, as we're making our way to the main, oh, what the? As we make our way to the main story, we'll get whatever like backpacks or research on the way. Ooh. Yeah, we'll pick up side quest type things if they're on the way. We're not gonna go all over the entire map and jump to the north, like cover the entire Isle of Manhattan, <laughs> scouring little side quest things while in, you know there are important. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> While there are important crimes to actually be solved. Mm -hmm. Right. And in that vein, we're not going to be completing the pigeon quest <laughs> right now. <laughs> because although I'm sure we were talking about, you know, Spider-Man wants to pay it forward. He wants to cheer up his, you know, everyone his, he meets, basically. Yeah, his, Every citizen of New York, that's the kind of guy he is. He wouldn't do that while other citizens are being shot and mugged and murdered and killed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is kind of a priority for him <laughs> to uh, help people in, in, in uh, like, oh god, that need help. But obviously, oh, oh, that was been dodging this whole time. That I thought I was getting hit, but never mind. <laughs> I just always nice to stop. Oh, mugging. okay. Yeah, I thought I was getting thrown back there, but. He just dives backwards and flings web junk in their face. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, he is a friendly neighborhood guy, but at the same time... There's gonna require some kind of priority on, on that part. Yeah, exactly. He's a friendly neighborhood guy, but he's not a moron. So yeah. he's gonna help the people who are about to die before he helps the people who want a pigeon. <laughs> in order to feel... have a slightly better day. Yeah. Alright, so we're right out of backpack now. Yeah. And we've learned that you can literally just... Uh, hit this on a backpack and we'll show you exactly where it is. Yeah. Give us that ultra convenient thing so we don't have to do the strange hunch that we did. Long yeah. Ago. Wow. Maybe this will so help helpful. me balance work and a personal life if I ever find time to read it. What the? Who's the author of that? Christopher Lloyd, I guess. Leg Ludwig Reinhardt. Obviously, you're never gonna <laughs> find time to read it. You don't believe that you would, or else you wouldn't stick it on the side of this building and forget about it for eight years. <laughs> yeah, that seems a bit... <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, sh I should have read that while I never have it available to me. <laughs> yeah. One day, I really, really want to read this. That's why I'm just gonna leave it here. 
forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look, extra crime. Oh, speak of the devil. At least they're really right here, right on the way. Demon ambush. Oh, no Lita. <laughs> oh my no god, that's amazing. Oh, this is. You got the perform 10 swing kicks thing again that we didn't get before, so. You might want to try that. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Loses a fourth of his life. Yeah. You oh. know. That's just uh, a little inconvenient for me. That was probably not my plan just then. <laughs> oh. So, how was that? There we go. That's how that works. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just wow. hold down square in the Yeah, air. it's just the hold down. Oh, wow. But in the air, not on the ground, because if you do it on the ground, then you do the... Sure, you can pop them up into the air punch. Yep. A lot of the moves here are very similar to the um, Marvel vs. Capcom version of Spider-Man, hmm. where, like, that web throw where you do the L1, R1, and he grabs the thing and throws it, and then that kind of dragon punch where you pop him up into the air looks very similar to how he punches people in that game. And that web kick, the swing into the kick, obviously looks very similar. Right, yeah, that's very true. So yes. I wonder if they took purposeful, intentional inspiration from that, or if if the Marvel vs. Capcom took inspiration from like some sort of Spider-Man animation, or from the comics. Right, and they just have like a shared... Uh, oh. Ouch. Yeah, and a shared just, missile to the face. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I, that's what I was going for. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're not gonna you're not gonna do that to me. In fact, yeah. <laughs> I'm you're gonna, gonna do the exact there. opposite of that. <laughs> There's ten. Yeah. To ten. Oh, that's ten already. Yep. Okay, nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is an amazing this is an amazing upgrade that we got. The uh, perfect dodge thing. Oh yeah? It just makes it so much easier. It seems like they, I mean, it's so early in the tree, it's the very top of the defender tree, so... Like, the whole concept is the developers intend you to have that. Right. We probably should have gotten it earlier than the take the, the guns away perks. Maybe, but, you know, to each his own. Uh... Well, I mean, we would have gotten it earlier if we knew you this one is more of a game changer and the take the guns away takes, you strong. know, 30 seconds every time so you don't have enough time to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of customizing your playstyle here, which I like. So, we could have did that and it would have been, like, maybe a lot easier for us or maybe, um, like some of the other stuff we got, depending on how you want to play it, for sure. Because we had, like, the more focus and everything like that, which helped a lot. Yeah, I mean, in some ways it's a customized thing, but in other ways it's just this one seems to be more effective than what we thought mm. it would be from the description, mm. and the take the guns away is much less effective mm. than what we thought it would be from the description. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because yeah, we it just, were expecting. It takes too long. Yeah, it takes too long, and they can just pick it up immediately afterwards. I, I don't mind if they can get it back. It's just. In, in the harder fights, when you've got multiple enemy types and brutes and everybody running at you and shooting at you all at once, you just don't have the time. Because mm. the animation is like, I'm going to shoot a web, and another web, and a third web, and then I'm going to pull! And then you're going to pull down, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, plushie! Plushies. Spider plushie! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. Uh, I don't think so, dude. Just talk to Tony Stark about that. The Avengers, I'm sure they have some sort of lucrative deal in order to get merchandise. That's, yeah, I'm sure that's true. Because they have... <laughs> they have people that, like, with the vision and everything like that. I mean, he doesn't technically have an identity, right? His only identity is his superhero identity. Right, but where I'm going with that is Stark is already a businessman whose identity is known. Mm. So he can just sign on as an Avenger and get X percentage of their licensing distribution for merchandising hmm. and get it that way without yeah, any jeopardy to his family or himself. He could just be the main distributor and he knows everyone's identity already so it's like he knows what to do with that. Yeah, I'm sure it's a legal battle that Stark has already fought oh, and won yeah. so that they can have merchandising. Oh, more smog? 
Oh. You know, yeah, it's the... Distinction's simple, but really important. It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. And of course, now the city is a cesspool. If this data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I hate sulfur dioxide. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. A spidey hunch? Does he really think that way? <laughs> a spidey hunch. <laughs> okay, got that one. I've got a K and D sensation going yeah. on. <laughs> K and D sensation. <laughs> Sounds like we're in concert or something. <laughs> can't be good for me. <laughs> no, no, it can't. You're poisoning yourself. <laughs> nice. oh. By the magic of my night Just insight, I can tell what's wrong and what's right. <laughs> like, don't fright. I mean, <laughs> even if there are people who. Never mind. Like, even if you're a superhero, I don't think you think of terms in that way. <laughs> like, maybe your sidekick does, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, that's just the, that's the beauty of Spider-Man. He takes more. nothing seriously. <laughs> so yeah, I think, I think Stark would have that covered. I mean, the Avengers are in New York. Stark Tower is in New York. Maybe not in the current <laughs> incarnation of the comics. I don't know, 100%. But in the normal version, the Avengers are in New York. Mm -hmm. Or in the movie version, Stark Tower was in New York. And so... <laughs> That's it. Huh. As far as what I originally thought in the comics, the Avengers Tower was also in New York. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, okay. again... Looks like we have three guilty parties. Three I'll guilty need to get pa pictures oh, of them taking for pictures. proof. Yep. These dudes who are farting of all this toxicity. <laughs> taking yeah. pictures. They're car like farting. The <laughs> days. Life was so much simpler back then. Uh -huh. Oh, no way. One down. Nicely done. Thank you. <laughs> that was that was amazing. Great job. <laughs> I just really wanted to see if that was a possibility. <laughs> it doesn't get much more cinematic than that. Yes. <laughs> Spider-Man jumping, flying through the rooftops, and then he whips out the camera mid-jump, and as he takes a death-defying somersault straight towards his target, he takes the perfect shot. <laughs> oh, there it is. I was wondering where the heck that was. So you can't understand why there are so much crimes in New York. Why are there so many crimes in New York if that's where all the superheroes live? If the, all of the Avengers live there and Spider-Man lives there, even the, the part-timers like Jessica Jones lives there, Luke Cage lives yeah. in Manhattan, or yeah, he's in, in Harlem. Harlem, at the north of Manhattan, so. I can't, yeah, I can't imagine why because every single borough of New York has their own hero, and then they have the massive superheroes. And the hat trick. Above it all, all so. All set. That'll get a recall ordered, courtesy of your Earth-friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I mean, if you think about it, if you really think about it, why are there so many superheroes in New York? Yeah. As, I mean, if you compare it to our reality, then I think Miami has more crime. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> LA. Why is everybody hanging out in New York? Is it for the criminals? It can't be for the criminals. I would think all of the criminals would have abandoned New York long ago. It's for the pizza. <laughs> Has to be for the pizza. Maybe the superheroes want to stay for the pizza. That makes sense. Well, I mean, is it just a lack of creativity on the part of the writers? Are all the comic writers, are they only born in New York? Do they not live in any other part of the world? <laughs> is it just short-sightedness on their part? I feel like anywhere they maybe they were thinking that's the most American city. I don't know. That's strange. It, yeah, but when you think about it, like why? Why is there can be zero crimes? You've got a superhero in like every ten miles, like every thousand square foot radius. You've got another yeah. superhero who yeah. just lives there, and it's not even the small timers. Like I was saying, like Jessica Jones. Okay, maybe. Maybe Jessica can only take on one or two of these criminals mm -hmm. at any given time. But Spider-Man, he can All he can clean up. Oh my goodness! Oh. Ta like, as soon as there's a call over the radio, Spider-Man's right there. And even these world-ending guys can't cover anything in New York because freaking the Avengers Tower. The Avengers live in New York City. Who can stomp the Avengers? No one. They are the end-all and be-all yeah. of the Marvel Universe. Why? I just don't understand it. There should be more Marvel heroes 
to cover split up over a wider area so Every you can have better coverage to stop more criminals it just makes good sense that way yeah, they could break up the uh they can break up the like responsibilities over countries or continents if they want it's like yeah put some put some uh, like captain america in russia if you want to it's <laughs> everyone gets to cycle around in like, DC, every superhero seems to have their own city. Yeah. They're all made up fake shite cities. Yeah. Like Central Obviously City right and next. Coast City. They have city names that don't even make any yeah. sense. Star City. Gotham. Yeah. <laughs> Gotham makes more sense. But Gotham's basically New York. Yeah, Gotham and Metropolis at so least sound like the names yeah. of authentic yeah. cities. Yeah. Once you get to Star the City and Central City, you know you're just digging up the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> like, they didn't even try. Oh, what are we gonna name this city? Oh, where is it located? Kinda in the center of the country. Oh, let's call it Central City. What the f***? I need to find out why. Take five minutes of thought, yeah. maybe, before you finish putting the pen to paper next time. See where this starts. It's like East Central City. <laughs> <laughs> I would like that better. I would like that much better. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Oh. There's not a drain there, though. Why is that? But still, it's not even just Marvel, is it? It doesn't make any sense. You got other, even other comic continuities like wherever the hell the Ninja Turtles are from. <sighs> they live in f***ing New York City. <laughs> what the wrong. hell? I don't. Easy enough to fix. I mean, the Ninja Turtles, they all live in New York, that of course, because happened. that's where every crime happens. There's even though, I, like I said before, I'm fairly certain that Miami has a higher crime rate and LA, there are other places that have higher crime rates than New York City, but yeah. of course that's where the turtles live to. And I did not even understand the Ninja Turtles. How can these people exist as superheroes? I mean, think about it for one second, right? These things are supposed to be giant turtle creatures. They're like, I mean, they're not super giant, but they're the size of you and me, right? right. And they're turtles. They're fucking turtles. <laughs> They're turtles that are the size of you and me, so they're really, really big shite for turtles. But the one job they take out of any occupation that you could possibly think of is ninjutsu. Yeah. <laughs> How can you take that job? Okay, let me put it to you this way. There are only two relevant skills that the employer looks for when you're checking the actual resume of someone who's inclined to be a ninja. And those skills are, number one, you know which end of your weapon is the pointy end. So you know where to stick it. That's number one. And number two is, you can f***ing go without being detected. You gotta be stealthy. That's, that's pretty much the rule. So these four teenagers who are loud as f***, yeah. they decide they want to all be the stealthiest thing in existence. They're giant mutant turtles. I'll check the outlet pipe. They're all like, they all, somehow they come to this agreement together like, oh, yeah, we can go about without being seen. No one will give us a second thought. No one will ever look at us. Of course, we're perfect ninjas. Yeah, that'll do it. Huh? Everything about our life is camouflage, really. If you think about it, we got shells. And once I put my head inside my own shell, no one will look at me. I mean, perfectly hidden. You got these four hideous, headless, gigantic, human-sized turtles walking around New York City thinking they're 100% invisible. This didn't make any sense. <laughs> they follow a giant, massive rat around. <laughs> Well, I guess in New York City, the rat makes the most sense out of everything. That's true! <laughs> and he just stays in the sewers the whole time. Yeah, yeah, he never true. pops his head out. He's actually being more of a ninja. I don't that's understand true. these... How do they come to that conclusion? It just doesn't make any sense. What I did find interesting with them was... <laughs> the, the turtles have, like... The turtles and Daredevil apparently were a thing. Like, together. Like, they happen at the same time. Like, how Daredevil got his powers and the turtles got their powers. Apparently. Like, that's a, a fan thing that happened, but... According to what? <laughs> well, there's, like, the comic books, like, in relation... They have it happening at the same... Like, in the same process. So... Oh, yeah. They just... The mutagen which changed the turtles was right. the same thing that damaged... 
What? That yeah, Murdoch's that's like a eyes? whoa. That dude just phased through that car. I don't know if you just saw that. No, I missed it. Oh uh, yeah, he just warped through that vehicle like nothing. Shipping. But yeah, now, the, he should be a ninja. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's he's doing. He's a ghost basically. Jeff, or he's I'm an X Man since we're in Marvel. I guess that's kind of common. He's a demon. Find the rest. The boss wants them dead. Yeah, it's funny. The guys named demons, demons are, are like the most normal territory. guys in the game so yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. I got this. Oh, I have to be stealthy or whatever. Yeah. You're like, damn it! I'm like, yeah. yes! Yeah. I like stealth missions. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Gonna stealthily leave some spider droppings over. That's it. Okay, that's how it... <laughs> okay, bud. What are you gonna do with this now? Nice. Okay. Got in close enough for the silent. For the pert. Oh, that's not. That's very blatantly obvious. Yeah. Though. Not as obvious if he's right on the ground, though, so it still helps you better than if you did the whatever super silent for some reason drop kick to the face takedown. Yeah. <laughs> drop kick to the face. That'd be amazing if that's what it was. Oof. That's what it said there. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Are you going to see your friend? Or is the 3D going to destroy you? He hasn't seen him yet. Yeah, they might not look up. Where'd he go? Yeah, it's like he went. He's sitting right there. Oh, there. Yeah, okay. he is actually sitting right there. Oh, okay. okay good. Oh, and he turns around. Huh. Nice. <laughs> I'm very thankful that none of them yell right there. <laughs> right, yeah. He's not exactly taking him out or knocking him out while it's happening. He just. He doesn't even cover the mouth first. Which makes sense, because if he did cover the mouth first, he'd be pretty much pulling him up by his neck. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so... <laughs> be murdering him. Yeah. Uh, were you the one who... Oh, wow, how did they see you? Yeah, I don't know how they saw me. That's weird. I guess that guy wasn't safe, even though you've got this the square icon. Is that the only guy left? I want to say it is. And you're saying that we're only one man. Sorry, dude, but with your army gone, you are literally only one man. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like... <laughs> like, no remorse. And just go, like, look at him dead in his eyes and then kick him in the temples. <laughs> Is this... You got what you came for. Oh. You don't need to kill us, too. <laughs> this Mr. Lee. Is ours now. Not today. Oh. Uh, oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice slow mo <laughs> falling on your ass. <laughs> Again! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looks like it's a problem, but it's not. Very little is actually a problem for Spider Man. That's very true. <laughs> At least so far. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Was that it? No way. Oh. <laughs> Unknown. Oh. Hey, Willie. You. Nice jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my <laughs> business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. They can stay alive. Spider-Man's not a murderer. He's just gonna web them all up for the cops. I mean, yeah. saving bad guys from other bad guys. Wow! Oh my god! Go. Holy crap! This is a bit extreme. Hey. I mean, yeah. Realistically, if there's this much crime going on, it would not be in New York City. It just would not. Yeah. <laughs> in the Marvel universe, you don't set up a crime base next to Avengers HQ. Yeah, this would be uh, the last place any crime or any criminal would want to be. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah, you he are. Counts. Wow. Oh, wow. that was pretty sweet. Oh my I god. I guess it has to be scripted, but huh. it's still cool that there can be destructible environments. That was just pretty badass. Yeah, I did not see that coming. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with a helicopter, but... Probably nothing until, like, we're told he- I gotta take out that helicopter! <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why that was so amazing to me, but it was. Ow! 
even pothole. <laughs> clank, clank. <laughs> Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you can. Yeah, maybe we won't have to deal with that until the last. Oh, that's not. That's not what I'm <laughs> If you're sure, then let me bring you to the next building. I yeah. can carry somebody. You can uh, <laughs> you can help me take out these other guys. Though. Yeah, you can have your next shot. I'll leave this building to you while I go take that building over there, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> deal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the double bounce! <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. Barrel to the face, oh. bounced off the railing, and over the side. So nice. Oh my god. That's not really what I was anticipating there, but okay. I'll take it. Oh, I don't want Rah. that. Rug. Arx. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so great. Do you know if the language the demons is speaking is Japanese or Chinese? I'm not sure, to be honest. Because, and it's not all of them either. It doesn't seem like it. Because some of them are just speaking perfect English. Others, like, they... It doesn't seem like they have any English at all. Because I thought some of the you art in... Here. Wait for the police. In the exhibit from when we were looking at Kingpin's exhibit, mm -hmm. I thought some of that art was Japanese. Survivors fast. But Mr. Lee obviously is Chinese. So I thought if he's in big with the gang, then maybe it would have been a Chinese gang, and I just we didn't notice before. Hmm. Or but if they are speaking, because I don't know, I can't hear enough. Right? Yeah, they they'll say just a couple words, and that'll be the end of it. I'm sure. I mean, if you're fluent, then you yeah. know what they're saying. Oh yeah. Because maybe if it's if it's a Japanese-based gang. And Mr. Lee's involved in something else, and maybe Yuri's actually involved with the gang somehow, because oh. Yuri's a Japanese character. Hmm. Like, her last name is Watanabe or something like that. Bye, Brute. Oh, no. Sorry. Yeah, you guys oh. keep doing your linebacker thing. We'll be over here. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun. What was uh, that? I don't understand why the brutes sometimes just fall over. <laughs> yeah, they just stop. Like, well, when a grenade happens, like they just get really terrified for some. Oh, he's ducking from the grenade. Yeah, yeah, he he dies away from the grenade. Well, in that case, if he just kept going, like he would have outranged the grenade, but he turned around, and yeah, flopped backwards, went back towards, towards the, grenade. the grenade. Oh my god, he just shot this guy in the back relentlessly. Okay. Bye. He always hated that guy. <laughs> that was Steve. What was that? Oh, okay, we still have more to go. Oh, wow. Well. Wow. Steve is the notorious, most annoying member of the demon gang. <laughs> I have nowhere to run? Is that what you were talking about just now? Nowhere to run to, nowhere baby. To hide. Nowhere to hide. Oh. Meet this iron grate. Yep. Hello, <laughs> great. It's great. Oh, that wasn't great. <laughs> I think that was pretty great. So fortunate for him that they implemented that Spider-Man never kills automatically. Yeah, that's... <laughs> now that that happens, I feel less bad about doing that. Yeah, this game would be so much harder if we had to actually okay? keep them on the buildings. Oh, like yeah. That. Like, save everyone as it was happening. Well, it looks like we're going to have to take out this last Fisk warehouse in the next episode. Indeed. We'll see you guys in the next one. Or construction building, rather. Yeah. We'll save that last guy in the next one. All right. See, see you guys, guys next time. Bye. Oh, man. What? Some of these scenes are so oh. good. <laughs> what the heck? Spider-Man's not having a good day.